What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode. Fuck. Welcome to. Ep <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Alex's Toy Show Q and A number forty nine. That's what we're trying to do. One of these days, I'll get it fucking right. Now we have a lot to cover because not only do we have Q and A, we have this issue of MJ Appleballs and who the fuck is he? And we have Elimination Chamber predictions. Holy shit, let's get to it. First off, a lot of people have been asking, am I MJ Appleballs? My answer is, no, I'm not MJ Appleballs. Everybody put your like, you know, I haven't been on Grim Show in like two months. I'm like, well, I've been on vacation with the ladies. What the hell can I say? Um, it's been good. I got a tan, as you can clearly see. You should look at my arm. You should see the tan line. I would show you the tan line, but there isn't one, because when you're on vacation, you tan nude. No tan lines, motherfucker. All right, anyway, uh, also, strategically, if I was MJ Appleballs, I still would say, no, I'm not MJ Apple, because I don't want to give up my identity. But it's not me. Don't worry. And no, it isn't Feisty Pants either. I mean, Feisty Pants is a little boy. MJ Appleballs is a grown man. You know, it's not a woman, because Grimm said so, and I, I think it's Stan anyway. Dirty fuck. It's the number one fans that always turn out to be nuts. Justin knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> First question is from Justin. What's my favorite Lego series from either Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, or Harry Potter? Dude, I gotta tell you, and that, that Rent-A-Lego set site is uh, pretty hilarious. I might actually try that out. Um, as great as Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter sets are, because I've seen some of those, and I want to say Harry Potter might have the edge on Lord of the Rings, but Star Wars, hands down, has got the greatest stuff. Um... Maybe it's because I'm a bigger Star Wars fan than I am Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter, but I think Star Wars, I think, wins it hands down. I mean, the Lego Millennium Falcon is just friggin' awesome. Have you seen this other thing on TV? Uh, they've been advertising it. It's like a... It's part die-cast... Ooh, pardon me. Part die-cast, part plastic, part something else, and it's a one-to-one -one scale of the uh, Millennium Falcon. It's fucking huge. I went on the website... It's like orderthemillenniumfalcon.com or something like that. They want like a billion friggin' it's it's overpriced for what you know, but you know, they're riding the Star Wars dollars. Um But it's cool. If you have the money, it's it's cool if you have the money. Uh Rob Bailey wants to know Would I like to see a barbed wire match in the WWE and my thoughts about the barbed wire? You know what? I, I would say no because the barbed wire match kinda I don't want to say it defined it, I would say it helped define uh, the Attitude Era, and it's it's not, you know, it's not like, oh, hey, I'm Dean Ambrose, and I have a barbed wire uh, weapon. Uh, it's, it's not the same as when, like, Cactus Jack did it, and Cactus Jack, Cactus Jack? Mick Foley's other character? I want to say, yeah, it's not the same. Um, uh, it wouldn't be the same effect for me. So I would say no, uh, leave it in the past. It was well done, and to bring it back would kind of ruin it. Um, but there are other matches that I would like to see, uh, like Survivor Series. I think the whole Survivor Series should be a Survivor Series match. I don't think it should just be one, one uh, pinfall. I'm waiting for this chick to come out. I keep looking up. I was just in Family Dollar. Can you see Family Dollar back there? I was doing a hunt for um, these new Generation figures. Uh, they're uh, Generations Legends. It's like a um, little smaller than than uh, the Le I'm sorry, Legion, Legion class. They're a little smaller than Legend class. And uh, Family Dollar has a new wave. It's like Ultra Magnus is a just a white Optimus Prime, and they recolored Starscream to be Skywarp. And uh, Feisty Pants wants them, so I keep watching, but. This chick, she parked in the black car in front of me here, and, uh, man, when I tell you we discovered a new country. All right, uh, next questions. I'll see if I can pan around when she comes out. Nah, it's not her. Uh, Howard Hornbaker wants to know if I've ever watched How to Train Your Dragon, and who is my favorite dragon. Yes, I saw both of those. Uh, Toothless, hand down, hands down, is my favorite dragon. Um... Those were good movies, and I even watched a little of the TV show. It was it was pretty good. Um, 
Matt Sherwood wants to know if I still collect baseball card type memorabilia. Yes, um, most prominently it's anything Andy Vance like. I'm always on the hunt for, and um, you know if there's something Yankees that kind of catches my eye, you know I'm a Yankees fan. Here you go, right there, Yankees. Um, you know I'll I'll pick it up. Uh, but so yes, yes I do. Uh, bartender from the Shiny wants to know what did I think of the Walking Dead season finale? It was awesome. And is Feisty Pants Hulk Hogan in the skies? No. And is are you and Feisty Pants going to premiere on Saturday Night Live next week? Uh, not that I've heard of, but I'm talking to my agent is talking to their agent, and my people are going to call their people and they're going to talk because that's what people do. Sam Charles wants to know. Wants me to do a fan mail video. The good news is I just did one. Check it out. It was Friday's video. Um, I do fan mail as I get it, man. I, I don't have just a shit pile of mail. A shit ton. A shit ton of mail sitting around that I could just whip out and do a fan mail video. So you guys got to send it before I can do a video. Uh, do you have any UFC figures? Nope. And do I know who MJ Appleballs is? My friends think it's you. No, it's not me, and I still don't know who. I think it's Stan, as I said earlier. Fucking Stan. Brock Lesnar guy! Who are you? Uh, am I Justin Bieber? Am I di a directioner? Or who gives a fuck about these guys? What's a directioner? I, I think I have to lean towards who gives a fuck, because I don't know what directioner is. And I'm definitely not Justin Bieber. Uh, what advice would you give Vince to improve ratings? You know, just when you think Vince doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, he turns around and does something awesome. So I think I think he's got it under control. But I would tell him to fix the Survivor Series and to bring back Elimination Chamber. And then, sure enough, we got Elimination Chamber later tonight. So, fine job, Vince. Fine job. Uh, who is hotter, Nikki, Lana, or Paige? You know what? Lana is fucking gorgeous, but I, I would choose Nikki. Um, no, you know what? I would, I would go, I would go Lana over Nikki, but Paige, Paige in the end. I, I just, I'm attracted to her accent. Her accent is going to win me over every day. And what do I think of him right now? Um, I think you're looking at pornographic pictures of Nikki, Lana, and Paige. That's, that's what I would be doing if it was me. Uh, Alan Notman Jr., A.K.A. What? Alan Notman, A.K.A. Apple Balls vs. Grim. Oh, you made this. Ch yeah, Alan. Alan made this this channel name called Apple Balls vs. Grim. Oh my God! There she is. I can't. No, oh, she's looking right at me. Shit. <laughs> oh well. Uh, he wants to know who do I want to win? Apple Balls or Grim? Of course, Grim. Fucking apple balls. Uh, can I make a video of my dog? Maybe. Does Feisty Pants like Jeff Hardy? I don't think Feisty Pants knows who Jeff Hardy is, honestly. Um, we watch uh, WWE, that's about it. And we watch, you know, current WWE. He doesn't really get into the older stuff. Uh, so, I, I mean, I'm sure he would like him if I showed him who Jeff Hardy is. I'll have to get around to that. Who's, uh, what's your favorite WWE legend? Um... Trish? Definitely Trish, hands down. Naked Trish over dress Trish. Uh, definitely. When uh, when will you do the reaction to his video? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that was that... Yes, that was that Jeff Hardy. Yeah, I couldn't get one put together, so I didn't do one. <laughs> Sorry, man. But it was good stuff. I liked it. I just couldn't do a reaction video for you. David Sin, you're welcome, and I'm glad I got your name right. Uh, what's the most scariest situation you've ever gotten into? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to say I'm a crazy man, but I'm not a crazy man. There was uh, there was this one time. Oh my God! Okay, we're we're at the bar, we're shooting pool, and we meet this girl. Um, you know, of course, I'm the single guy in my group, so, you know, we met this girl, and she's cool, we're shooting pool together, and, uh, she's like, oh, we won the game, I gotta buy a round of drinks, so I'm like, oh, no, I don't really drink, uh, and then she's, no, and, yeah, I'm like, alright, so I had one, and I drank it, it was a shot, she didn't tell me what it was, and I said, oh, well, how bad can it be, turns out, I am, uh, allergic to Hennessy, and I 
got violently sick. My friends had to drag me out of there. And uh, once we got back to uh, my buddy's house, uh, they put me on the couch and took care of me like I was a little boy. Because <laughs> I passed out for the night. I was done. Uh, that was pretty scary because, you know, you always want to be in control of yourself. And that was the time that I was not. Uh, am I going to SummerSlam? You know, I got to ask Grim because he went and bought tickets. And uh, I thought he got enough for everybody. And But then the other day we were all hanging out. And he was saying, oh, yeah, you know, me and the Ninja Twins and this and that and the other thing. And I'm like, well, wait a minute, what about Mike? So may I don't know, maybe he didn't get enough tickets. I got to ask him. And in the, in the next video with Grim... You want me to slap? No, I don't slap Grim in the face. That's not what I do. It would be funny, but I won't. Uh, Emo Sani wants to know what's the rarest, best card that I have. I would have to say, um, being that my baseball card collection is 99.9% uh, .9 Andy Van Slyke, <laughs> I have this. Um, I have this video called uh, uh, Box 33. Box 33. Um, I did it like a couple weeks ago. Uh, and it's all my rare serial numbered Andy Van Slyke cards. And in it is a one of one, meaning it's the only card out there. Um, it's a jersey and an autograph and serial numbered, one of one. Check it out. Check out the video. It's pretty cool. Uh, Brandon Sadowski wants to know, do I smoke? No, I don't smoke anything at all, nor have I ever. And, and thank you for the fan mail, Brandon. That's pretty awesome stuff. Uh, everybody has been uh, has been listening. You know, I set up the fan mail box. Brandon's been sending me a ton of stuff. Um, here's the uh, here's the schedule here. Uh, Alex's Toy Show, P.O. Box 13, if you want to send the fan mail, Bay Bayville, New Jersey, 08721. Uh, the schedule goes Sundays, Q&A. And paper pay per view predictions like today is a pay per view prediction. Leave your co leave your questions in the comments, YouTube comments, or if you want to tweet me, or if you want to Instagram me, I am my pal Alex underscore photos. And then the schedule goes the rest of the week. Monday is the toy hauls and the toy hunts. Tuesday is baseball card video Tuesday. Wednesday is Minecraft with feisty pants. Usually we do um. Like a Minecraft haul, and we show off kind of the figures that we keep finding in stores, or um, we play on the Xbox 360, and you know we'll show off stuff we've we've built. But uh, we got to build it in order to show it off. So stand by. There's more videos coming along. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday is going to be a little bit of everything else. It's regular, regular action figure review or custom action figure review. EverQuest videos, I started doing those because that's what I play on the PC. And Lego and everything else that we do uh, will be either Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We'll mix it up, kind of keep it fresh. Um, on to the pay-per-view! The first match I would like to talk about is Neville versus Bo Dallas. And if you believe that Bo Dallas is going to win this bodacious match, you're out of your fucking Bo Dallas mind because I can't fucking stand him. I mean, I swear to God, I understand he's a wrestler and it's a gimmick, but, I mean, you're doing your job very well if you get the world to hate you. But uh, I think Neville's going to pull that off. Um, the IC Chamber title match. In the Chamber! Rusev, Ziggler, Wade Barrett, R-Truth, Ryback, and Sheamus. Now, word is Rusev uh, got hurt, and he actually may not uh, wrestle. But it doesn't matter, I think... Uh, Dolph Ziggler is going to win. <laughs> Dolph Ziggler all the way. And uh, La I think Lana is going to play a, play a role in that. I think she's going to be ringside somehow. Even though there's a cage all around. You know, the chamber's all around it like a cage is. Uh, I, th I think she's going to play some kind of interference. Uh, Nikki versus Paige versus Naomi. I think, I think uh, Paige is going to get this back and carry it forward. Uh, Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose for the title. I don't, I, I don't think Seth Rollins is giving it up as much as I love Dean Ambrose. I think it's going to be a, a great match. It's probably going to be the best match of the night because the two of them are, are like the biggest talent ever. Um, but Seth Rollins is going to pull that off. Cena versus the, uh, this NXT guy, Kevin Owens. Uh, you know, I, I'd like to see Kevin Owens win that. I, I'd like to see him give up his NXT days and come to um, WWE. 
But here's what I think. I th it's a non-title match, number one. So uh, that does mean that Cena can lose. And what I think is Kevin Owens is going to win. And he's going to give up his NXT. And then they're going to have a rematch at SummerSlam for the title. And I think Kevin Owens is going to win that. <laughs> That's what I think. Um, and then there's the first ever tag team elimination chamber match, which is insane. It's uh, both the tag team members, the two guys, are going to be in the pods. Now, New Day, you know, there's three of those guys. I think all three of them are going to be in a pod. It's going to be it's going to be sick, right? Otherwise, one of them's going to have to sit out. It's uh, Tyson Kidd and Cesaro, a New Day, the Ascension, Los Matadors. Uh, Primetime, and the Lucha Dragons. Now, what I don't understand is why why the uh, the Wyatt uh, family, uh, Lou, Lou Carper, and um, and uh, Clive Barker there. I don't I don't know why the fuck they're not in this match. I mean, why put them back together and um, and not have them in this match? I don't know. Uh, and then, and then, you know, what about, uh, Damian Sandow and, and, um, Axelmania? It's, it's like, it's like going back to, uh, it's like the Elimination Chamber from the 80s. Like, you know, there's the Heart Foundation, is Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. Demolition looks like Ascension, or vice versa. Uh, the La Los Matadors could be the Conquistadors, you remember them? And then, you know, all you need is, like, Tito Santana and... Marty Jannetty and <laughs> fucking everybody else, and it's almost like you have you know WrestleMania uh, tag team. Oh my God, I can't even talk. It's almost like you have tag teams from the '80s in today. I mean, it's almost you're almost looking at the same thing. But uh, in the end, I would love for Tyson Kidd and Cesaro to pull this off, but I really think New Day is going to win this. Uh, I think they're going to retain. I think they're going to hold on to the titles. Um, And that is it. Now, uh, there is an hour-long pre-show. It starts at 7 o'clock. Um, you're wondering, well, why isn't Roman Reigns on the card? Well, it's because I think the big show is making a return uh, during the pre-show, and he's going to call out Roman Reigns, and they're going to have, it's going to be the, you know, the highest over pre-show match ever. Uh, that's what, that's, that's my prediction, because Roman Reigns is a very popular wrestler. Why are you not going to have him on the card? I, I mean, you know, it's almost as stupid as having Brock Lesnar hold the title for six months or however long he held it, and then he doesn't defend it at different pay-per-views. It's like, what the fuck? If I wrote WTF on the back of this, that's what it would be like. So uh, make sure you watch the preview, because I think I think we're going to see some action. And if it's not during the preview, um, the pre-show, I'm sorry, maybe they add it to the card, and it'll be during the actual pay-per-view. But I think that would be a waste to, to not have Roman Reigns on the on the card. Unless, unless, oh, unless he comes out during uh, Dean Ambrose's match for support. But even then, I mean, you know, he should still wrestle. All right, folks, that's all we got. Uh, like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe for more.